just last Friday, Jeff. Hello, my fellow deviants. I'm Jenna. And I'm Hannah. And welcome to eSpot. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to get updated every time we post something new. And with that, let's get started. There is exciting news about the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X's new smart delivery system isn't really new. However, it will give developers more potential and breathe new life into older games. Developers will have the option to roll out game updates that basically upgrade the current gen games and let them tap the Xbox Series X's RAW 12 Teraflop GPU. Smart delivery will enhance backwards compatibility compatible games and push them to new heights that simply is not possible on the Xbox One family of hardware. The smart delivery is just a mechanism or pipeline that hosts the data and automatically downloads what you need to play a game based on the Xbox Series X. With the upgrade hardware in the Series X, we can see games like Halo 5 or Gears of War 5 and get ray tracing or massively boosted frame rates up to 120 FPS. Please remember, next gen is an extension and evolution of current gen, not a replacement. We certainly look forward to seeing it. Definitely. And in more Xbox Series X updates, this, com this console will have backwards compatibility. With the new powerful specs and SSD technology, the new and improved next generation console will allow current gen and previous gen games to run faster with improved boot and load times, more stable frame rates, uh, <laughs> frame rates, excuse me, higher resolutions, and improved image quality. Microsoft has revealed that the backwards compatibility team that worked so hard to bring hundreds of games to Xbox One are already working on creating entirely new techniques and innovations that can be used to further enhance the existing catalog of games when running the Xbox Series X. Not only are the games backwards compatible, but the Xbox One hardware, first and third party, will be natively compatible through the use of Series X backwards compatibility. Your hardware, games, save files, account, and more will all move into the next generation. Unlike in 2013 when gamers became isolated from their friends, this won't happen this time because Xbox Series X cross-generation play will keep everyone together and they will keep some money in their wallets because these controllers are so expensive. And with that, the Xbox Series X controller has been revealed and we're excited to tell you all about it. The new controller has been confirmed to have a share button and it will work with older Xbox models. When the Xbox Series X was first revealed, we did get a glimpse of a controller that looks exactly the same to the current Xbox One controller. That's because it is the same. The fans love the controller as it is, so they believe there was no point in changing it, but instead to build on the smart evolutionary ways. All the controllers will work together with different consoles and now a Bluetooth low energy will be implemented so that pairing these devices will be much, much easier. And that's what I love about Microsoft. They always believe in if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good on ya. <laughs> the controller also remembers multiple devices, so switching between them is more seamless. A USB Type-C port allows gamers to play and charge with a modern cable that's more readily available. This new controller will also come with DLI support which is short for dynamic latency input. This is the technology in the console and the HDMI connection to the TV, which allows the controller to send information more frequently than before. Another change is the D-pad on the controller and it's modeled after the one placed on the Elite controllers to give you a good amount of leverage with minimal movement. The size of the controller was taken into consideration for varying hand size and comfort. And to accommodate this, the team has rounded the bumpers and, re and reduced the rounding, rounding parts of the triggers, as well as sculpting the grips to accommodate different hand sizes. I have pretty big hands, so this is a godsend for me personally. The Xbox Series X is the most powerful home console, and here is a look into why that is. The transition of graphics from 8-bit to 16-bit and from HD to finally 4K, gamers are demanding more games run at 60 frames per second with high visual fidelity and precise response input. To meet more of the gaming needs, the team has strengthened their long-term AMD partnership to include an 8-core AMD Zen 2 CPU. The internal storage is now a 1TB NVMe solid-state drive. It also features a USB 3.2 external HDD support. And of course, it will be 
It will support hardware accelerated by direct X-ray tracing. These, these properties of light and sound will simulate real time more accurately than any technology before. Microsoft released more information and footage about the Xbox Series X, given that E3 is no longer a thing in a few months. In this video, it displays just how fast the Xbox Series X and its load times thanks to the new custom SSD. This demo shows an Xbox Series X and an Xbox One X loading identical state of decay save files. The Series X loads in about 9 seconds, while the One X loads in a little longer at about 50 seconds. There is also a second video to watch. It shows off a new feature that is the evolution of the Quick Resume system. It shows 5-6 to six games being revived from multiple suspended states, which theoretically eliminates loading entirely. This should benefit uh, most online games, but because of the nature of Destiny 2 or Division 2, for example, that, that would bring a player to the home screen instead of continuing right where you left off. With the newer technology to boost the speed of the system by orders of magnitude over mechanical HDDs of previous console generations, beside load times, it will also benefit system in-game for things like fast travel when moving to a new area within an existing open world, or loading into a new level. Direct storage is an all-new I.O. system designed specifically for gaming to unleash the full performance of the SSD and hardware decompression. Modern games perform asset streaming in the background to continuously load the new parts of the world while you play, and direct storage can reduce the CPU overhead for these I.O. operations. That is all we have for today. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of eSpot. And as always, thank you to our partners at Microsoft and Razer for supporting us as always. And don't forget to check out our other amazing content like Paul's Curious Corner of Controversy and keep your eye on the Devious Eye website and preview what we have coming up in the very near future. Thank you all so much for watching and remember, stay, stay devious. devious.